Hey guys, it's Nicola. So this will be the intro for the next two weeks until August the 22nd. I kind of switched it up a little bit. I will be doing a love analysis. Um, it's going to be $20 period. So until August the 27th, I will be doing a love analysis special. Um, $20 per person, no matter if you're single or you have a partner or a potential partner. My PayPal information will be in the description. I'll also put it across the little thing right here so you guys can see that. I'll also put my email so you guys, if you guys want to email me for further information. That's all I got. Our signs, it's Nicola. So this is for August 14th. We got the Taurus Capricorn Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. August 14th, 2018. Taurus Capricorn Virgo. Moon and rising. August 14, 2018. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. So, all right, let's see what we got. Mm, King of Pentacles. Hey, hey. We there. We there. Some of you guys are finding some balance. Hallelujah. Okay. Hey, what we got over here? Somebody know? Is that the underlying energy? That's why you're finding your balance? Somebody done lit that five? Uh. All right, so <laughs> let me quit. Four of Wands is the first card out. So we are talking about some stability. I think this is two people coming together. Um, maybe a situation evening out. Let's see if I, because this is about a household or this is about a relationship. Why is this about somebody new? It's about somebody new. Four of Wands, Page of Wands, someone new. Um, news, good news about a plan. So if you made some plans, this could be good news about a plan that you made. Why is this Four of Wands here? So if you made some plans, you could be getting rewarded for that. There could be some good news on the way. You're expecting the worst about movement. I don't understand why. Um, okay, I'm sorry. But there is some, um, someone's expecting the worst about some sort of movement or being recognized about something. Maybe you feel like you won't be recognized because there's a new opportunity. There's someone new you're wanting to communicate or maybe you are communicating, but there's a lot of anxiety about that. This could be either work related or while you're at work um this could be making plans and getting rewarded <laughs> for moving forward this could be war but there's a lot of anxiety okay you guys need to get out your head yeah. all right so why is this two of swords here why is this two of swords here there's some anxiety around some plans but there's good news as well so, you're not communicating, you're not having fun, you need to overcome the illusion or you've overcame some illusion, something that had you feeling trapped, you overcame it. Yeah, King of Swords, Four of Wands, Two of Pentacles, you changed something within the, the mm. Okay, so you overcame some conflict within a household, about a household, um, whatever. You overcome something, some type of conflict. Now you're making plans to change something. Maybe in secret, there's no communication about it, whatever it is. You're not communicating. Um, maybe you're not communicating. I see three swords here. Maybe you're not communicating about severing a connection with someone. Three of cups in reverse, three swords here. Four of Wands, Four of Wands here, Two of Pentacles. This is someone not communicating or not seeing the truth of a connection. Um, maybe even being juggled um, in a situation and maybe conflict or other people involved. In. So someone could have not seen the truth, woken up and realized they were living in some sort of illusion and basically cut a situation short. Someone severed a connection. All right, so why is this Queen of Wands here? Why is this Queen of Wands here? You're not happy, you're moving forward. 
You severed a connection, either you severed a connection and you're moving forward or someone severed a connection with you and you didn't see it coming. Either way it go, the connection has been severed, you're moving forward, okay? Whatever, you may be begging for some type of attention, you may be trying to balance the situation out, find a balance within yourself, but there's a new opportunity for you to move forward. For some of you guys, this Queen of Wands can be the person that left you or this can be the person that you're moving toward and they're very passionate and it's going to be a new opportunity with the Ace of uh, uh, wands, but you may not see it because of this four of pentacles energy here feeling um, stuck or discontent and emotionally. Tempers card this is about finding balance, balancing yourself out emotionally so that you can move forward with a new opportunity. Um, having courage and passion to move forward toward this new opportunity because you got a new opportunity. Six of swords, ace of wands, moving toward a new opportunity. Um, but there is some type of discontentment. So emotionally, um, you may need to kind of, hmm. I don't know if I'm seeing that as, I'm seeing that more as stability. So this opportunity may bring emotional stability to whatever was once missing, okay? And this could also be you going back toward a missed opportunity, feeling like there's, there's a new life there for you. So I read that as many ways as I could, y'all. <laughs> Fool card. Why is this fool card here? Because it's literally different for a lot of different people. Some more meaning to that. Moving towards some type of stability emotionally. Moving towards something you feel like you missed. So the opportunity whew, is new. Whew. So there's a new opportunity for love. Within you taking this opportunity, um, Justice card in reverse. Three of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, so it may be a foolish opportunity for you to do this because you may not be doing what is right within a partnership. You may not be building up the partnership the way that it should. So this Queen of Wands energy, it could be a new opportunity, no doubt, um, with a new person towards something happy, but there's some type of illusion. Um, there's some type of illusion or something surrounding this situation maybe this person has not fully left this person that's offering this uh, opportunity has not fully left a situation you could be doing some mischievous things or there could be other people still involved so someone may not be being all the way honest and someone may not be seeing that um with the three with these two in reverse this is about yes there's a new opportunity for love but be very careful about how you're jumping into the situation the six of pentacles here can be talking about a need to have balance with the situation okay um yeah. all right six of pentacles why is the six of pentacles here Someone's gonna you you need to be clear about what you desire from a situation. Page of Swords, Ace of Swords, Temperance. There is an opportunity. There is an opportunity for love in a situation or there's an opportunity for some newness within a situation but you need to be very clear about what you want because if you're not there could be an imbalance within a situation page of swords ace of swords be very clear with what it is that you desire okay take your time don't rush into anything especially if this is a new situation so what messages do we have boys what messages do we have for my first son, Taurus Capricorn Virgo, Sun Moon Rising, August 14th. What the hell is going on? Y'all, I wish I could show y'all what this dude got on. He looked ridiculous. Um, we got the arts here, and I don't feel bad talking about it because he's a child molester. The arts, it says, express yourself through creative activities. Y'all heard me call my kids. <laughs> kill somebody all right so with sensitivity this is about understanding that you're being very sensitive okay express yourself don't just try to hold it in allow yourself to feel whatever you need to feel earth signs it's okay to feel earth signs okay let it out earth signs the universe is pouring its abundance out i'm an earth sign so i can say it 
The universe is pouring its abundance out to you, okay? Be open to receiving it. Right now, you're very sensitive. Avoid harsh relationships, people, chemical situations. Right now is a time for you to express yourself. If you're feeling any way, shape, or form about something, do not hold your tongue. Speak your truths, okay? Inner wisdom. You know what to do. Trust yourself. Trust your inner wisdom and take appropriate action without delay. You are a magical person. Be careful with that tongue. You have the ability to manifest anything that you desire. Peace, y'all.